something which was not as fancy as, as my colleague Ananda spoke earlier, right? He's, he's talking about uh, high performance computing and, and high performance computing essentially is, is a very interesting topic because not, not only is it, it is used for, for kind of performance needs, it is also kind of helping solve some of humanity's greatest challenges, right? It, it helps in, in, in faster kind of identification of vaccines, various other things. What I'm going to be talking about is, is something a bit different, right? Cloud. Now, cloud is something that has been spoken of again and again and again and again, right? Cloud is an inevitable part of what we kind of talk to our customers and, and the market in general, right? Now, what I'm going to be talking about is essentially how can we accelerate the agility associated with the cloud uh, journey, right? Because there is no one right answer when it comes to kind of talking cloud. There are various paths. It's, it's, it's a journey, right? It's not a destination per se. Now, how can we, along with partners like you, help our customers accelerate their cloud agility, right? Because it is important for us to be agile so that we can adapt to the new requirements that are coming in day in and day out, right? Now, what we kind of essentially talk about is the four pillars when it comes to the digital transformation that a lot of our customers are going through, the four essential pillars which define the success of any digital transformation journey. First and foremost, the fact that we have to look at cloud native applications, right? The way applications are being deployed by our customers, they have to be agile enough, right? So we talk of technologies like containers, microservices, right? It's very, very important to kind of have your applications built in such a way that they're adapted or adaptable to the cloud native industry that, that we are talking of today. The second important thing is the fact, how do we manage data? Amit earlier spoke of data being a currency in, in today's world, right? Now that currency in itself is, is of no use unless you are able to analyze and inference that data, right? That's where the whole AI and analytics piece kind of comes into picture. Now, let me just once again go back to the fact about data management, right? Now the reason it says data management is the way data is being generated and the way data is being consumed has definitely changed over the years. Now, back in the day, data primarily was being generated from the core data centers. But today, we are looking at a, a scenario wherein nearly 75% of the data is, is getting generated at the edge. And a lot of data is also getting consumed at the edge. So that is why it is important for us to look at that whole paradigm and that whole ecosystem of where the data is getting generated and how can we help our customers manage that data far more effectively. And last but not the least, the fact that we have to look at a hybrid sort of an environment, right? Uh, not just hybrid, a multi-cloud sort of an environment, right? Because today we are talking to customers who have invested in multiple cloud platforms. They have private clouds, they have colo-based solutions, they have public cloud. So you are talking of an environment or an ecosystem which is spanning across different vendors, different solutions, right? So for our customers to transform and navigate this journey, it is one of the uh, important pillars to drive that success. Now, let's come to how can Lenovo kind of help our customers, right? Partners and, and, and Lenovo together can help our customers. Now, one of the important thing is the Lenovo's open cloud vision, right? Now, the, the important word here being open, right? The idea is not to confine the customer into one particular solution or one particular way of thinking. The idea is to give and present choices to our customers so that they can kind of help create distributed applications and, and more importantly, a data platform which spans across this multi-cloud world, right? And that's where Lenovo kind of comes into play and helps. Now, how do we do that? It's simply basically stack that we have created, right? Now, if you look at the topmost part here, right? This is, this is where we are talking from an, from an application perspective, right? This, this doesn't seem to work, but if you look at from a platform perspective, the applications and data are spread across uh, uh, in, 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 in a distributed platform. Now, if you go below, now I'll come top down, right? Now, how can our customers consume these solutions, right? From a solution perspective, the customers can 
consume the solution the traditional way that they used to do, which was a capex-based solution. Now, what a lot of our customers today are doing is the as-a-service piece, right? Customers don't want to invest in heavy capex-based technology. They want to pay for what they actually use and get billed for what they actually use, right? So from that perspective, the true scale solution that, that Ananda alluded to and, and earlier on Amit also alluded to forms that core uh, component of how customers can consume technologies in today's market. Now when you go down, there's the whole framework of adapting to the open cloud uh, infrastructure, right? How can you uh, adapt to various solutions out there in the market. And the Lenovo software portfolio and the automation portfolio with Xclarity allows customers to manage their applications and manage their data across a different, different format of infrastructure, different format of, of usage. Last but not the least, when we talk of technology today, right? Now, when technology works, that's the best thing. When, when it's not working, that's when it causes the problem. So ideally, we are talking of an invisible technology and you can create that invisible infrastructure using a robust platform, right? Whether it be in terms of performance benchmarks that our platforms are able to provide and the various, various uh, 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 security features that our platforms are able to provide, you can create an infrastructure which allows you to just not worry about the infrastructure, just worry about the applications and the workloads and concentrate on your business. And last but not the least, the fact that our partners like you can help with the support and, and the solutions and the, the technological uh, uh, deployments and the expertise that you bring to the table for our customers forms the core of this, this piece, right? Now, I spoke of the, the fact that we are talking of an open cloud world, right? An open infrastructure-based world. Now, if you look at the agility that we are talking about, now, I started with the fact that we are talking of creating an agile ecosystem. Now, this speaks agility. Now, if you look at from the underlying infrastructure platform to right up to the, the public cloud integration, Lenovo solutions today can do that. Right? right from AWS, Azure, GCP, and even IBM Cloud, our solutions can integrate with that entire platform. And the, the open management systems and the automation softwares that we are talking about help do that, uh, create that agility and the flexibility that our customers need today. Now, let's talk of just one example here. There are tons of examples, and in fact, when, when, I, when I close my session, I will leave you with a slide which talks about the customers who are using our solutions in deploying various workloads, right? This is just one example of how T-Systems created their own platform uh, with, the Lenovo platform, with the Lenovo solutions, the Think Agile platform, the open cloud automation tools, which allow them to offer services to their end customers, right? And, and there are tons of such success stories where customers are using this open approach to create something meaningful for their customers too. Now, let's talk about, now we spoke of the open cloud vision, but ultimately to, to fulfill this vision, there has to be an underlying platform and underlying technology which enables you to do that. And that technology and that platform is the Lenovo Think Agile platform. Now, there are a couple of core tenants and, and, and visions that we have when it comes to the product portfolio, right? The first of all is the fact that this is a hyper-converged portfolio. Now, a hyper-converged portfolio which allows customer choice. We spoke of choice earlier. We saw that in the earlier slide. Customers have varied choices available, not just in terms of the platform, choices in terms of how they want to consume that platform and how they want to integrate the platform with the various other solutions out there in the world, right? Now with that, let's just talk of the four key tenants which make Think Agile the product portfolio that it is. First and foremost, the idea is to become a trusted partner. Now you cannot become a trusted partner by offering or not offering choices. You can become a trusted partner by offering choices. And if you look at from a platform perspective, we offer choice of any cloud. You saw that example earlier. You can, you can talk of various cloud integrations uh, modules that we can provide, right? That's the uh, uh, other element. Now, the second important fact is having a modern application sort of a, uh, uh, you can help innovate with model application, and that's where the fact that we are engineered for cloud native applications, right? All the Think Agile portfolios are cloud integrated and engineered for cloud native sort of a requirement. And of course, from a platform perspective, you do need hardware acceleration today because a lot of the workloads do require, from an analytics perspective, GPU and DPUs, our platforms do provide that. If you look at the other capability is from an experience perspective, right? How can you deliver that experience to the customer? Now, first and foremost, by offering choice. 
The second, how can you automate at every scale, not just for smaller deployments, but for larger deployments too, right? How can you simplify the whole lifecycle management of the product portfolio that we offer, right? That helps deliver experience to our customers, right? And last but not the least, kind of leading the industry from a value perspective. Now, the value is derived by how much can you extract from the technology that you have invested in, right? And, and that's where the Lenovo technology kind of comes in, whether it be in terms of the performance benchmarks that we have, whether it be in terms of the, the reliability of the platform or the security, inherent security of the platform, those are the capabilities that, that kind of we bring in. Now, let's just talk about a couple of other options available here, right? So if you look at the Think Agile portfolio, that's right at the center of the customer's universe, right, in terms of how they want to consume the solutions, right? Whether we, we spoke of uh, having the ability to integrate to uh, public cloud platforms. Lenovo Think Agile allows you to do that. From a choice perspective, right, there are various software choices available with the Think Agile platform depending on what's right for your customer. We do not believe in a one-size-fit-all approach. We believe in deciding or, or discussing what's right for our customers by understanding what the requirements are and then, then positioning a solution. Right? The second part is, if you look at from a choice perspective, right? Now we spoke of offering choice. So the Think Agile portfolio offers you various software choices. Now for a VMware ecosystem, customers would preferably want vSAN, we have those choices. We have AOS with Nutanix, and for customers who are Microsoft shop, we have solutions for that as well. So from a choice perspective, customers have multiple choices available with our underlying Think Agile platform. Now, one of the other things that I would leave you with uh, the partner community, because partners are essential in, in having that conversation and opening the doors with our customers in identifying what's right for them, what's the pain point that's, that's bothering them, and how can we together help the customer. Now, one of the tools that can help us ideally have that discussion with the customer is the One IQ tool that Lenovo and One IQ have partnered with to create a clear assessment and, and a landscape for our customers and then proposing what's ideal for them, right? So just, just a quick workflow of how this kind of works. Uh, so if you look at it from a portal perspective, there is a portal available. We create a workspace wherein the customer kind of, we onboard the customers onto that workspace. We and the partner, right, get engaged in that workspace to do that assessment and have that entire pulse ecosystem running for the customer to analyze, then design, and of course, then provide the solution that's ideal for our customers, right? So I would, I would definitely encourage our partner community to use these tools because it helps deliver that value to our customers because we are no longer shooting in the blind, right? So if you look at it, the benefits, right? It, it first of all, is easy, it's, it's quick to do so, and it's very valuable in terms of the resources and the output it provides and the capabilities that it provides, right? Now, as I said, I will leave you with a view of how are we working with customers. Now, what you see here in slide is a set of customers spreading across various verticals, right? Whether it be technology, whether it be healthcare, whether it be public sectors, you have the Think Agile portfolio helping customers uh, and, and, and helping them have an agile journey to their cloud world today, right? So that's essentially what I wanted to leave you with. Once again, thank you. Uh, thank you for spending the time with us and, and have a great day ahead.